So here's another one of my videos where we are trying to find a z-score given the area. Let me bring this down so we can see this a little bit better. I want to find a z-score given the area under the curve. I did one of these before in one of my previous videos. Here's just another example. So let's take a look at what we've got here. It says Find the z-score for which 95% of the distribution area lies between negative z and positive z. So this time, once again, I'm going to draw a picture. And basically what it's saying is that there is a z over here in the negatives, and there's another z over here in the positives. Because remember, we should remember, that the z-score in the center is always 0. So I've got a positive z-score and a negative z-score. And the area in between these two z-scores is 95% or 0.95. So let me go ahead and draw a picture of what we've got here. This area that I am shading in yellow is 95% of the data. <clears throat> so 95 or 0.95 is right here. Well. The entire area under the curve is equal to 1. So if 95% of the data is in yellow, that means that in these two tails is 0.05, or 5% of the data. So if this is symmetric, then this tail right here that is not shaded in, and this tail right here that is not shaded in, is going to have an area of 0 0.025, or 2.5%. Okay, 2.5% or 0 0.025 is the same thing. Now, <clears throat> another thing that I should recognize is that since this is a symmetric bell-shaped curve, the negative z over here and the positive z over here are going to have the same values. Just one is going to be negative and one is going to be positive. So now I'm going to use my calculator and a function on my calculator to find the z-score that cuts off this bottom 2.5%. If I can find this z-score, which will be a negative value, I can find the positive as well. It's just the opposite of it. So here we go. I'm going to pull up my calculator. And if you remember from one of my previous videos, I'm going to use the function called inverse norm. So I go second vars, and I go down to number three, inverse norm. And the calculator always assumes that the number that you're going to give it is the number or the area to the left of the z-score that you want. So I want the air I want the z score where the area to the left of that is 0 0.025 or negative 2. Point, or I'm sorry 2.5%. So I'm going to punch in 0 0.025 and when I hit enter I get negative 1.96 if I round off. So the z score right here is going to be negative 1.96. Now, because this is symmetric, the z-score over here is going to be positive 1.96. But just to test it out, if I want the z-score that cuts off the bottom, what would this be? 0.95 plus 2.5 percent, that would be 97.5 percent. Just to show you that I'll get the positive here, I'm going to go uh, second, vars number three, inverse norm for 0.975 or 97.5 percent and when I hit enter there we go I get the positive z-score that I'm looking for 1.96 so here's just another example of how you can use the inverse norm function on your calculator to find z-scores if you are given the area under the curve